So down here in the Hino Hub, me and my little team, we work sort of during the week to bring you some of the bits and pieces and build them up. And I was having a scratch around during the week and I actually tripped across this, which was this great vision of Peter Brock, what, 32 years? This is 1991, hooting around Simmons Plains, this very track. And I'm a Ford guy, but I just, I mean, we all love Peter, right? This is just beautiful stuff. So I thought, well, I wonder what we could do with this. Wouldn't it be cool? Look at that classic Peter, isn't it? Well, what if we got that champion and this champion, that VN Commodore, what's that, a 308 Holden engine, about 540 horsepower, 600 horsepower Chevy Camaro. Wonder what they look like side by side. So we managed to line them up side by side from in car and just compare how things have changed on the same bits of the circuit over 32 years, and I just love this. This is fabulous. Now, I've barely seen much of this at all. We've only just put them together this morning. I might go that way a little bit. And, and just looking at it straight away, look how much Peter's wrestling with the car. Now, we'd have a five-speed gearbox. You see him using his clutch there on the upshift, where Shane over here's gear stick, look, right up near the steering wheel. He'll be look, adjusting his bias. A few more controls, a lot of electronics. No buttons on the wheel here at all, you can see. He'll be shifting based on his... Rev Teco, looking at his oil pressure, his temperatures. Shane will have alarms in front of him. He'll be shifting on his shift lights, right? Completely different. Now, whilst this is a lot smoother, in fact, look how much the camera technology has come from there to there. That's the thing that really gets me. But whilst Peter, classic Peter, like I love the way he takes the arm off and hooks it in and around, watch him when he goes down into the hairpin here. But what's really cool is that he's working a lot harder this is what i'd say is more precise so if there's a formula one car be peter shane and a formula one car would be up there everything is more accurate more precise but what a magnificent and look at the track it has not changed the cur look at this look at peter woof into the into the hairpin the bridge is in the same spot the curbs are in the same spot the same arm co isn't that beautiful anyway forget me i'm going to shut up because i reckon we need to listen to this engine and peter Talk us around this lap. Okay, first gear here. Half full now. Now I can flatten it. I'm in second gear. I'm going to rev limit to 7 8. Up to fourth now. I use all the road here to save the tyres. And you can see I'll get across the apex here. So I'm doing about 240 km for the moment. Brakes on now. Back to second now. I'm trying to use everything I can to stop. Well, the brakes are very good. But I'm using it, I'm trying to sort of maintain a bit of brakes towards the end of the race because, uh, boy, it's the hardest race I've ever seen. Third gear around there, up to here, brakes on, back to second, just let it float down, keep it straight, cross the apex, and don't oversteer here, which I'm trying very hard not to. And in second gear, third gear up to here, fourth, and a little bit of fifth about now, and then put the brakes on and just hope we've got them all.